the put them oh here. Oh, I thought you were Boys kidding. and girls, start counting your cards and putting your bag at the back table. I'm going to give you till 20. So then we should be ready to go. I got more than 20. Two, three, four, Good job for all the facts. You five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Seven. Sixteen. Uh, here. I got thirty-two. Wait, how much Seventeen. Fifty-six. Oh, eighteen. Oh, Nineteen. Twenty. I see one group ready. I should have all eyes on me. We've got a lot to do today. Kind of, we're going back to being um, detectives. And um, working um, with as a detective, and also doing like a math mutation to try to find out if we can solve this problem today. So we're going to do some reviewing because we have talked about there are uh, strategies or properties that we're going to learn. And who remembers what is like a property in math? Wait, property. Hmm. Uh, Michaela, what's a property? Um, a property is like. I think it's like switching around numbers or like kind of like Okay, that. when we did the commutative property, we switched around numbers. You're right. But a property of math is like a what? It's like a, a pattern that you follow. Okay, a pattern that you follow or a rule. So we're going to do some reviewing today. And then we're going to start and look at a new problem or a new strategy to help you with multiplication. You need to get out your slate, so get a slate, so you have a slate and a dry erase and your marker. And just like we used with the commutative property, today the property that we're going to use is going to help us with multiplication. Just like we have rules in school that keep us safe and everybody happy, there are rules in math that are going to make math problems easy for you. They're going to make them easier as you get older. So today, we have pennies. We're going to be working with pennies. And I want you to show me on your board, I would like you to show me a 3 by 4 array. And then I'd like you to show me, just like I have up here, a second grade way, a third grade way, and if you remember, the commutative property. So show me a three by four array. And then show me, just like we've done, the second grade way, the third grade way, you just can write second on your paper, third, and then just put the C. You don't have to write everything Mrs. Fister wrote. You just put second, third, and a C, just like we've done. A three by four. Would you show your slate to your face partners, please, and compare answers and discuss with them? You can join with them. It's just four times the top. Oh, sorry. Otherwise, you're all happy. 
Yeah, Who would like to come up here and show me what their three by four array looked like by using the pennies? So all you need to do is put right on the pennies because today we're going to use a lot with pennies. When we go on as being detectives today in math, we are going to use the pennies. So I want you to come up here and show me a three by four array. Who would like to come up here? Danny, you want to come up and show me a, just move the pennies to show me a three by four array. And you can check your answer with Daniel's. Pennies don't want to work as easy. It doesn't have. Yeah, that's good. There you go. I'll help you. You want that one? Hey, you got it. It's all right. Keep going. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if he's right. Awesome. I need someone that would come up here and like and put this second grade way. Because in second grade, we didn't use multiplication. We always did everything with addition. So that last year when you came in here in third grade and you knew this way of doing it, it helped me out to teach you how to use multiplication. So let's have uh, Shanalei, you may come up. So look at your problem. How many go down? <coughs> three go down. And then four. So three and three. Three. And three. And you had four, but you were going across. That's okay. You had this you had the right idea, but you just went across. And if you would have went across, if you would have went across, how many rows of four would you have had? Three. You got it. Would you have had the same answer? Yes. Yes, you would have. Awesome. Who wants to do the third grade way? Reg. How many down? Three. So what's our first number? Three. Mm -hmm. Same answer, but we just want to make sure today we go always down and then across. Okay? Is your answer the same answer as Shanalee's? Okay. Who would like to go up there and do the commutative property? Uh, Nick. How did you know that was the commutative property? Because all you do is switch these around, so then it would be four, four down and three across, and that would be the commutative property. Excellent. And both of them could have done it four times three, or four times or four plus four plus four. Excellent. Okay. So today, boys and girls, this Thank is you, great job. Today, you, look Gavin. at our problem. 
This problem makes it a little bit harder. And when we see this, we still see an array, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. So this is an array. Has this array changed? No. No. This array, Lexi, is a what array? <coughs> A three by four. You see all of this up here? Mm -hmm. These little marks? Does anyone know what we call those? What do we call these little marks? Yes? Cool. They, mean, um, um. When you have a quote in math, it's two. You're close. Parentheses? A parentheses. Excellent. And I'll tell you, when I used to do math, we used to use noodles, and we'd just say, boys and girls, put the numbers in the parentheses and just add them together or multiply them together. But what I'm going to show you today, we're going to go through this problem together, and then you and your partner are going to get pennies. So I'm going to need some volunteers. Okay, so I'm going to call on you. So look at this. This mark, it moves. Okay? So this bar is going to move. And you're going to get a yellow bar that looks like this. And it's going to go, we're going to put it the, between the first one. This little plus sign, it's not moving for me, is going to go here. Okay? And I can't seem to move my plus sign. What we're doing is dividing up this problem. The property that we're doing today is called distributive. And distributive property means breaking the problem apart. So if you look at the board, boys and girls, this is on one side of the yellow. This is on the other side of the yellow. Okay. So what we're actually doing is breaking this problem apart to make it easier. Okay. So I need some volunteers that are going to come up here and help me with these arrays. So Mrs. Fisher is going to move this plus sign here. Okay. And we're going to do four problems together because then you are going to do your penny activity with me, with, by, with your partner. So this is the first array. Okay. So who can tell me what's this first array you see? That first array is going to be our first parentheses. Okay? Do you see how the plus sign is there? And then this is the plus sign? And then this parentheses is the second array. So all we did is kind of, everyone show, go like this. Cut the array in half. Now if you cut the array in half, is this going to be a smaller number? Yes. 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 Is it going to be easier? No. no. Yes. We'll have to yes. see. So, who can come up here and tell me what array that is? Uh, Abby, what array is that? How many down? Three. Three. And how many across do you see before the yellow? One. One. Okay. Three by times one. What three. is three times one, everyone? Tell three. your shoulder partner. Three. three. Okay. Who can do this array? What's this array? Sahaja. Three by three. So there's three and three across. What's three times three? Everybody? Nine. Okay. So what's nine plus three? What is 9, Alexa, plus 3? 9 12. 12. Okay, now let's move this. Watch. Because when you get your pennies and you're working with person A and person B, you are going to move your plus sign and you're going to move it again. Okay, so we moved it. So we start right here. Now we have one problem. Now what's our second problem going to be? Talk to your shoulder partner and see if you can figure out what am I going to put in this first parentheses? It's going to be three out of two. Three out of two, yeah. It's going to go in the first parentheses. Oh, we know it. Yeah, we know it. Three down, two across. Who wants to try it? Hannah, what is the first array you see? I see two times three. Okay, how many down? Three. Three times? Two. Two. Okay, what do you see on this side? Nora? 
Three by two. Okay. What is three times two and three times two? Six. Six plus six is? Twelve. What do you notice about these two? They're what? They're the same. So no matter how many times we break this array apart, we still have what? Twelve. We still have twelve. Okay, let's see if we're true, if that works. Let's move the plus sign. I moved over. Let's move the bar. Okay, now tell your shoulder partner, what array do you see here? It's three by three. And then the other one is three by one. And the other one is three by one. Three by one. So, all together, that's twelve. Okay, who would like to tell me? George, what do you see? Three by three. A three by three? What do you see on this side? <coughs> Tess. Um, three by two. Oh, um. You got it. Three by one. Three by one. Okay. Three times three is what, boys and girls? Nine. And three times what is what? Three. And so what's nine plus three? Nine. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, now you are going to try and see if you can do the distributive property and think about how would we use this distributive property in our, in our life. Because we're going to do word problems and see how we can use this in everything that we do every day. Because we're not just going to be making arrays, but how can we use this in what we do. So I need the people that can pick up the folders. And between the two of you, one folder, you can um, probably work with them. So, yeah, the three of you. So the first thing, oh, Sahaja. Yeah, you can work with Sahaja. Sorry. Do you need your folder? Do you have an extra folder, Meredith? Okay. So the first thing I want, so you can work with Sahaja's table. First thing I want you to do is take out your board. And put it between the two of you. Okay. Find the plot, the yellow piece of paper that you're moving sign from one group to the other. Okay. Take out your pennies. You should have pennies. And then you're going to have your piece of paper. This is your direction that is going to guide you and your group through it. Person A, will you raise your hand? Person A is the person that's going to start. So as you are going through this activity, you are going to check off as you do each one of them. And then Mrs. Fister's going to have you as your group come up and share. So go ahead, take out your pennies, start working on your activity. Person A, count the pennies. You should have 15. There is one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Wait, do you think we should put our names there? Yeah. Okay. You put your name there. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, George, what are you going to do? You're going to make an array of a three by five on there once he does it. Okay. okay. So you're going to make an array of three by five. No, you make the array right here. You need one more. Oh, so you put it right here. Put your array right there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Check. I'll do it. Perfect. Yep. Do it. So you're going to make your array here, and then you're going to draw it on it. Right? So what's the first thing you do? So let's start out with this. One, two, three. 
Yeah, you can do check marks, whichever you like. We're just gonna start out until we get to 15. Well, I already know this right after. Oh, sorry. Here, okay. I almost said okay. you gotta, you gotta draw it on here. Draw it right here. And then your pennies. Look, I'll draw it. This is where your pennies well, you need to go, it. Hannah. On here. And then we'll you make move sure your to make it right. Thing. Okay. We'll make sure. Yep. And use your pennies. Don't forget to put your pennies on your line like we did. And then you're gonna draw it on there. So you can move it over here. Put your pennies on here. Then. All right. I know. Okay. Yep, that's perfect. Yep. How do you spell it? Awesome. <laughs> okay, and you're gonna put your pennies on here. On here. Yep. Uh, Just like Mrs. Fister's pennies. What? Yep. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. So put a three by five for pennies. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So you need to put, what does it say? Count your pennies. Did you count them? So put a check. Now it says person B makes a three by five array. So make a three. Three by five. Three. Yep. You got it. Perfect. George, George. Okay. So now. Three by five. So third grade problem. So how would you write this in the third grade way? Third grade problem. Okay. No, it's you. I have to. Doesn't matter. You have to put this. Okay. So now, is he making a three by five we're array? We're right the second grade uh -huh. problem. Okay. Now you gotta put your pennies. So you gotta show it your work. So you gotta put your three pennies here. This is your paper. Okay. So put your pennies here. Okay. So put your pennies on here. So show me a three by five. Just like mine. So you need to put yours up here. So you need to show me a three by five. So take your pennies out and show me a three by five. Not right this minute. I can get a pencil probably for you. Oh no. Okay. Together, discuss the second problem. Right okay, so now, where are you? Right then there. You do three. Oh, Three by? Three by one? Three by one. Thank you. Yeah, three by one. Yeah. 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 You got it, Abby. Oh. Okay, now put two that right here. Okay, so what are you going to write here? Two. What do you see here and here? And then you're going to move it to the next one and solve it. Okay. Okay. You got it. So you got it. it's three. Now, three. Now, three. What's three plus one? one. Okay, awesome. Now, plus sign, it says put the plus sign after the first row. Okay? Now you're going to write that problem. What do you see here? Nine. Okay? Nine. Okay? Three times two. Three times two. Right oh, dang it, I didn't finish it. Awesome job. Let's see. Three times three. Three by one. Oh, three. Three times three. Five, four. That's three. So what's your answer? No. Okay. It's like three plus one. Six. Five. 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 Oh, two. Six. Fifteen. Plus three. Five. Five. Times four is three. Nine. Nine. And what do you put here? What's three times four? I thought we have two, but we'll make it so much easier. Three times four. Twelve. Twelve. And what's twelve plus three? Fifteen. Fifteen. Is that the same answer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now what does it say? It says. Now move the plus sign to the second row. So move it to the second row. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Same thing. You're going to get a different answer. Okay. You're going to keep moving that plus sign over. Okay. Awesome. You move the plus sign over. Awesome. Okay, so now you're going to put your plus sign right in the middle. Excellent. And then three. What it says, it says put the plus sign after the plus oh, wait, row. Sorry. Now, how many do you have Move on this side? Move the plus side? sign what to the second row. Right here. Plus okay. an A. Goes right here. Oh, yeah. What do you have? And plus, plus an A right there. So it's mm -hmm. your turn, right? So we'll put it right there. Sign. Sign. <coughs> okay, so then she's going to write for you. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and you cut it. And you cut it. Now, what are you going to do? So, what are you going to do? Right here. You'll be a two by three. So, two by three. And you'll be a three by two. And then the eighth side. Plus side. Two by three. Two by three. Two by three. Two by three. And then the eighth side. Twelve plus three. Oh, I see. Twelve plus three. On that side, what do you want to do? Oh, yeah. Four yeah. times three. Okay, so now, because you don't have a problem, so now what's on this side? How many is on this side? Three times four. Three times four. Three times four right here. Okay, so that's the answer. Oh, and if you add them together, what do you have? Oh, oh we cut the other side. So three times yeah. one is the plus okay. side. Now what does it equal? Move the plus side equal. Wait, so how? Twelve. Now plus side. No, no, no. Twelve. No. Twelve plus three is what? That one equals four. Okay, like three. Oh, okay. This. Now what does this equal? And you're going to have this problem. Four times this. Plus twelve times one. What is twelve plus three? Okay. Very nice. Look, you combine these two numbers. This is 12. This is 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, all these numbers. And you work on those together. What do you know about So what did it just tell you to do with the pennies in the bag? You have to yep. pay away. Perfect. Oh. Did we do this? Nope. Get, get the bag. I'm going to go. I'm going to put it down. Wait, no. No, there's the bag. You just work on this. Right now, you will. You can leave that out. Yeah, oh. we will. Mr. Are you okay? supposed to do this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Will you move it to the fourth one? Yes, you do. Perfect. All right. You can leave that board out because you're going to need the board. Oh, okay. You can leave the board out. So we're both going to do this. Okay, keep going. Should we put everything away? Yep, and then you can work on these. And you can leave your board out because you're going to need your board. Okay, so now what do you see here? Move it to the third one, right? Now what's your array? Our array is three times three. Yeah, perfect. Three back. Three back. Okay, so you guys are in my pocket for a weird reason. What the? Um, it didn't work. We're at school. Okay, so put your pen in the way, and then you guys are working on this. Here's you can leave your boards out. Boys and girls, uh, outside. BYOT. Awesome. Thank you, 3G, for responding to my word of the day. You may leave your boards out. When you finish, you know what you're working on on that uh activity you're solving some problems but leave your board out because we're going to do some real life problems on there so i'm going to give you about three more minutes go ahead what's what's how could we use this property in life okay go to the second one so now see if you can get two more done Alright, let's discuss the problem. Two by three. I mean, yeah. Discuss the problem. What is three times two? Two. Okay, now you do this one. Okay, so since I just did it, oh, we missed it sometimes. Okay, I just sometimes did it. Sometimes two is fourteen. Five times four is twenty. So, so write down 14, 20, plus 13. I saw that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 20 plus 14. Cool. Okay. 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 Okay.
34. Okay, now write it down in 34. Alright, so let's see. And then write more. And then write that. 20 plus 14. Write the hard one. 14. Okay, and I'll do this one. 3 times 4. Oh, that's 8. 12. Yeah, I know. But that's 14. 12 times 6 is 18. Okay, so now do we move this? Okay, so we moved it all. We should have moved it all. So now you do this one. Two times, that's six. And, oh, look, it's, it's still an into It's 18. And then write 12 times six. So you can start moving this page and putting your pennies away. Yeah, okay. so pennies can go back in the bag. And then we'll just... Okay. Here's your other question. How, would you, how do you know the distributive property and how would you use it in life? Four times four. How would you use that? Now that we've taken an array and we've divided it in half, how would we use it in our real world? I know. We would use it maybe like with money. This is mine. No. That is mine. Uh, 14. How do you know? 14. Oh, 14. I Okay. And you can work on these. 20 plus 14. I got my 30 So what do you know about the description? Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, wait. I think you did. No, not three times two. But you can put your pennies back in the bag. Uh, four, eight, You can use your grid. Wait, no, your grid will help you. No, you got that right. Uh, Boys and girls, awesome job. How many think that this distributive property is kind of like breaking things apart and making the problems even easier? So what I need you to do is all pennies should be put away. And if you can have your board between you, watch Mrs. Fister. If you can have your board like this, and your paper so that you're looking at, let's do the first page, just like this. So I'm gonna set this down right between Tess and Danica. And I need some volunteers. And what I want you to do, our goal today is to be able to use this and see how we use it in everyday life. You are going to, we're going to go through some of these. So I'm going to ask you to come up here and um, quickly, who can come up here and do a, uh, what was it, three by five today? Or is it a five by three I had you do? Three by five. Three by five. So who would like to come up and do a three by five? And they don't have to go to the top. They can stay down here. A three by five. And then we're going to see who wants to move this and where we want to see. So if we can come up with different ways that your group came up with it. What's the one thing you notice with anywhere you move the yellow strip? It's always equals the same. Raise your hand, Danica. It always equals the same thing. It always equals the same thing. Because even though we're breaking apart our array, our answer never changes. It just makes it even smaller, the number smaller, okay? So, George, would you like to come up and do a three by five? Three by five with the pennies? Move the pennies? You want to move them just there? Yeah, three by five. Thank you. 
Like, awesome. Whoa. Sometimes they travel. There we go. And then the, I had to move this one over here so I could get these problems. I'll do a bunch of traveling on that one. Oh, you got the bar. That's great. Because the bar travels with. Awesome job. Nice job. Great, great job, George. Nice job, George. Sean, where would you like me to put this yellow bar? Shine. Or Luke. <laughs> Luke, where would you like me? So I have this. Where do you want me to move it? Um, you want me to put it here, 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 or here? Third row. Third row. Right here? Yep. Where the plus sign is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus sign is there. <laughs> Luke, would you like to solve that problem? Sure. Yes? Yep. Okay, come on up. Mm -hmm. So remember, the parentheses are breaking it apart. We do what's inside of the parentheses. So what's our first part? Okay. And the other side? You can solve it if you'd like. So three plus three times three is what? Nine. And nine plus six is what? Yep. Do you agree with him? Will you give him a thumbs up? Awesome. Is there somebody else who would like to move the yellow bar? I think that moving the yellow bar is pretty cool, that it still works. Do you have to have a yellow bar, or can we just take a line and mark it through? Yeah. Yeah. We could take, what? Either. Either. You're right. We could just take a piece of paper, we could put a ruler, whatever we wanted to do to break apart an array. Think about it when you're in fourth grade and your teacher gives you a problem that's like <coughs> 20 times 7. Could you make an array and break it apart? Yeah. Yes, you could. And you could make it a lot easier. Because then you could have a smaller, two smaller problems instead of one big problem. So let's move this array, this bar, this is my magical yellow wand. Let's move it. Yes? But if you could do it in your head, mental math, or you could also break it apart. So where do we want to move that? <gasps> Who have I not heard from? Meredith, which way do you want to move it? Um, to the post space. To here? Okay. Where's the post guy? Mm -hmm. Behind this one? You are right. Mm -hmm. See, Mrs. Fister, you can't make a PowerPoint and move the plus with the bar, so you have to move them separately. These teachers have to figure out technology. Meredith, would you like to do this problem? Come on up. As Meredith is coming up here, boys and girls, I want you to think, how would we use this in our everyday life? We're going to share with our face partners in a minute. Three by one. <coughs> awesome. What do we say to Meredith? Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. We could keep going and we could keep moving this here. And we could move it here. You can move it anywhere you want. Most likely when you do distributed property, you're only going to move it maybe one time, whatever makes it easier for you. Okay. So the distributed property is breaking it apart. There are three properties in third grade we learned. And we've learned two of them. Okay. Now, with your sho or, yeah, shoulder partner, when would we use this in real life? Go ahead. Just in 
money. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Division. 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 Division.
you broke it up here, right? So what is this whole array going to be? How many here? And how many, Meredith, across? Seven. Okay, now what's this array? How many down? Sahaja, how many down? Two. Two. So we have two down, right? And Meredith, how many do we? Got it. Put your two down. And how many across? One. One. And what's your answer going to be? Sixteen. Sixteen. And I think we have time for one more. Okay? So boys and girls, do we use the distributive, Gavin? Do we use the distributive property in our life? Yes. More than what we think we do. Okay? So let me get one more group that can come up here that wants to break it apart for me. Abby and Louise, you want to come and break it apart? And let's use the green, and I am so impressed. And let's see if this group can end us today, because all the distributed property is doing is breaking things apart. So they broke it apart there. So let Mrs. Fister. So can you put the last one in for us today? So what's it going to be, Abby? A two by, and your last one's going to be? How many? How many do you see? Oh, you're here. How many? Two. Okay, and how many across? Six. Okay. So six times two is? Twelve plus four is? Oh, that's okay. So boys and girls, tell your neighbor, your shoulder partner, great job. What is the distributive property? Tell your, your shoulder partner, what is the distributive property? What is the distributive property? Is there breaking? Okay, five, four. Boys and girls, three, two, one. We've learned two properties right now. And we're going to close with the two. So commutative property, four times three would be the same as what? Three, three times four. four. And when we're doing the distributive property, we need to what? Divide. Divide, yeah. Divide, Divide up in. your array. Awesome. And then there's one more property, boys and girls, in probably a week. We will learn the last one. Outstanding job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Woo. And I need you to put all of your things in your folder. Leave your uh, all the papers. Put your things on here. They're